the joke. This one isn't dirty, I promise. Uh, so Haydn was a very, very important composer in his day. 
he created a lot of forms of music that Mozart and Beethoven used. Mozart and Beethoven were extremely influenced by Haydn. Mozart was a very good friend of Haydn's and uh, Beethoven was actually a student of uh, Haydn. So it's really something that two of the greatest composers who ever lived were influenced by uh, uh, Franz Joseph Haydn. But Beethoven was very proud and very uh, strong about his convictions and he always felt that Haydn never taught him anything, anything important. And that might have been because he could never find his teacher. And so the question to you is why couldn't, Haydn find, why couldn't Beethoven find his teacher? Because he was hiding. <laughs> yes, got it, got it. Yay! Oh, oh. I didn't come up with that joke, thank God. Okay. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, they see me on the internet and they see me perform and they say, oh, you should do stand up, you should do stand up comedy, you should make comedy your main thing. And it's fine, you know, I'm good, but I do. I do tell bombs, I do, I do tell jokes that bomb, uh, but my saving grace is when I do tell a joke that bombs, I can just immediately head to the piano and play something. Whereas you're standing on a stage uh, telling comedy, you know, you really start to get nervous because then you tell one bad joke after another and then you start to sweat and you got the microphone and you start breathing heavy and, and the people look much bigger than they used to and, and you start getting very, it, it's just a mess. Uh, but me, I can just say, if a joke bombs, oh, Haydn, I'll just play him now. So notice that, notice that, when I tell a joke that bombs, notice how quickly I will run to the piano and start playing. Uh,